So you've already declared your major, right? Yes, I just declared it this semester. I'm going to be a neuroscience major with a concentration in systems. So the co combination of the other two concentrations, which is cellular and molecular and then behavioral. Um, and I also plan on minoring in Spanish for the professions. So it will be concentrating in learning the medical vocabulary. That'll be really interesting. Do you plan to go abroad and use this knowledge that you have? Uh, I would like to study abroad while I'm here. Probably do it either in the spring semester or summer semester. They have programs in Spain that are actually tailored to neuroscience majors. Um, so that would be a very fun experience that I would like to have. That sounds awesome. I can't wait to hear what you're doing that. So what are some of the best ways Anne Richards has prepared you for you know, the experiences you have here and the obstacles you face here? I think that one of the biggest ways that Anne Richards has prepared me has been through the unique opportunities and experiences that we have uh, being an Anne Richards student with like our pathways and our internships. It's like, oh, I've written a cover letter. I've written a resume. I've done a memo. I've done a research paper, uh, you know, the research proposal. Um, I've made plenty of presentations before. Like, I feel comfortable, like, in, I know I can go do this. And like, all of these skills that you've gained, whether it's just, you know, more general skills, like working in a group, or, you know, planning out a long-term project, or skills from Capstone, you have a huge skill set that you've developed and grown upon while being at Ann Richards. And it transfers over very well into like, uh, when you're in an environment that's where you're more independent and things are more, like they rely more on you being proactive about your learning and what you're doing. This is a new experience, but no matter what, I know I'm gonna make it through it, I'm not gonna have a problem. I had that confidence that was instilled in me, that it's like, I know that I can tackle anything and it's gonna be okay. It was very helpful to be able to come here with my biomedical science experience because I already knew like this is what I want to do through all my exploration through those classes and the internship. I knew that okay like this is what I'm interested in. This is what's going to allow me to help people in a field that I am interested in. I'm getting to see like I know that this is going to go somewhere and like I can't wait to see where it goes like be able to like med school or continue doing research things like that and be able to do those efforts to help people. So you're, um, you're doing awesome in school, it sounds like. You're, are, you're working out, you're keeping yourself healthy. Um, I think that it sounded like you're trying, you know, planning to take it abroad because you are studying Spanish. You want to go out and do that. So would you say you're living the Anne Richards mission statement? Yes. If I, yes, because I obviously like remember it. You don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Not after every single day. No. <laughs> right. I think that it's definitely become part of, it's just, it's something that you do without even thinking about. Because it's, it becomes habits, it really does. Like Ms. Goki likes to say, you know, it leads to actions, actions lead to habits and so forth. Um, you, you know like how to accomplish all of your goals, you know how to do so in a creative way, like solve your problems, you know how to take care of yourself, um, you're prepared for anything. You're not gonna sit there and panic. You're ready for the next step. And if you're not, you know how to find the resources you need to make that next step. So is there any kind of advice that you have for you know, us seniors moving forward? I think what's important is definitely to get involved in your community. Like during orientation, you know, go out, meet as many people as you can, um, go to the student activities fair, don't miss that. <laughs> but um, I think in the long run, you end up enjoying it. And it's definitely, you, like, you completely forget about those first, like, that first day when you come in like anxious because you don't know anybody and and you just it ends up being a really really incredible experience once you like realize all right if I'm going to make the most of my years here it's going to be me going out and finding stuff I love. Awesome. Okay so it is coming up on May 1st. Have you made your decision? Yeah, tomorrow I have made my decision. I'm going to go to UT Austin wow. and Welcome. I'm going to do yeah exactly yeah. I'm going to do liberal arts honors and the Moody College of Communications. So. And, and I made my parents swear. I made them swear <laughs> that they are not going to drop in on me. They are not going to, like, I'm going to get this in writing before I leave. Like, yeah. we're going to leave you alone.